Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. Today I have tacos. I got the Doritos Locos tacos and I got them supreme. Um, so I have um, lots of sour cream on it. And of course the pico, the cheese, the lettuce. I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm hoping that is really good. Oh. Taking me dropping stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm always in the mood for tacos. Like it never fails. Like I always, I always want them. I'm never like, unless I'm not hungry, I'm always in the mood for tacos. I hope y'all are enjoying your Sunday. Beautiful Sunday. I don't know. Some places I think it's raining, but where I am. It's really nice outside. It's been nice all day, really. Um, Did y'all notice the time went back an hour? I think went back at like one o'clock. Some people were telling me like they watched it. They watched it happen. They watched the time go back. I may have been up. I was definitely up when time went back. Yeah. Hope y'all are at home safely enjoying some kind of Sunday dinner. Maybe some pot roast, maybe some salmon, maybe some chicken. What's for dinner? Oh, and I have some Gatorade to drink. Kind of random as a drink choice, but... That's what I was going to move for today. I'm going to say grace and then I'm going to get into these tacos. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this meal. Bless this food. Let it be, nourish let it be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name, amen. I haven't tried these before. I heard they had um the flaming Hot ones and they had the uh, Cool Ranch. I haven't tried those, but I heard they were really good. I think this one is a standard, you know, nacho cheese Dorito taco. It's good though. It tastes like nachos. When I make nachos, I always use Doritos. I use um the spicy nacho and the cool ranch. I use both of them and mix the chips up and then I season the meat real good. Like I use the taco seasoning, but then I use um adobo, garlic powder, onion powder, cilantro, sometimes Italian seasoning, um, sometimes chili powder. Also, I like a lot of flavor. And then I get the taco blend of cheese and the cheddar. And I have lettuce and tomato. And then I put more cilantro on top. And then uh what else the cheese i have salsa and taco sauce and then jalapenos to top it off and sour cream fully loaded nachos but y'all i wanted to just encourage y'all because i know like this year has been hectic. And recently, a couple days ago, I had gotten some news about some people that passed away. Um, and it was like three deaths in a matter of like a day or the same day. And 
it was like, wow, like I had heard that, you know what I mean? When it comes to people passing away, sometimes it happens in threes, which is so crazy. But that's how it happened this time. So like to experience loss and then for this year to have been as crazy as it has been, you know, I just wanted to encourage y'all to keep going, you know? I'm sure it's a lot going on for everybody. You trying to pay your bills and then you have this hovering thought like, oh, the holidays are coming up. Are we are we going to do something with the family or are we going to just stay in the house and do our own little thing? Are we traveling? You know, sometimes this time of year is, is tough for people who have lost loved ones, um, who have passed. Maybe there could be some overwhelming thoughts when it comes to um, Christmas time or making the most of, um, the holiday season for your children. Um, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a lot, um, happening right now. And I just wanted to encourage my supporters, my viewers to keep going, keep praying and keep going. Don't lose your faith right now. Don't let doubts cloud your mind. If you're around people who think negatively or speak negatively or they have some type of critical, they offer some type of criticism for everything, like maybe you should put some space between you and them while you're trying to pull it together or hold it together. You know what I mean? And that could involve, you know, reaching out to positive people that you know, friends that you have that are positive that maybe you haven't, you know what I mean, conversed with as much. Listening to uplifting music. Having positive conversations with positive people. Listening to positive messages. Maybe on like an audio book or on YouTube or something. You know what I mean? Be yourself. Positivity. In this time. And make sure whoever is around you is feeding you. Positivity. They're speaking life to you. They're speaking life to your situation. They're being encouraging they're, you know, I mean, even if they don't know what to say, they're at least trying to be present, you know. A pleasant demeanor, a pleasant way of thinking. Sometimes you might just need to go away, you know what I mean? Get away for a weekend or a day and go somewhere where you can kind of tune the world out and just be in your own world, your own space. Whatever you got to do to get that boost. You know what I mean? Turn on the message, you know? Maybe you have a church home. And your church could be doing like virtual church on Sundays or something. Tune in. Listen to the messages. Go back and listen to it. Feed yourself positivity. You know what I mean? So you can have that boost. You can have that, that push to keep going. You know, you have to keep going. It's hard. It's heavy. It's frustrating. It's complicated. It's easier said than done, but you have to keep going. You can't stop where you are. It wouldn't make sense to just give up where you are you know what i mean because you still have to make it on the other side and of course you didn't come too far come this far just to be right here like you know what i mean 
There's so much more life to live. There's so much more to be done. Ain't no way you would have gotten this far if this is all there was to it, you know? There's no way you would have made this much, pro this much progress or have gotten this invested into whatever it is for it to just end here or for you to give up here. Keep going. A step at a time, a day at a time, a moment at a time. A sticky note at a time. Whatever it takes to get you where you're trying to be. But you have to keep going. Imagine how good you're going to feel when you get to where you're trying to be. Imagine, like, you right here. You this close. You know what I mean? Tomorrow could be the day you get your big break. Next week. You know what I mean? It finally happens. The door finally opens up. A way is made, you know? You're probably closer to it than you think you are. You've made more progress than you think you have. Even if it's not, maybe it's not progress in the area you think it should be, but maybe it's personal progress, personal growth. You know what I mean? And that's fine. Keep going and don't compare what you have going on to what other people have going on everybody isn't walking the same walk God's timing for each individual person is not the same Everybody's journey isn't the same, you know? So don't rob yourself of joy or of happiness that you could have of being able to embrace the progress you have made or the changes that you have made. Don't rob yourself of, of celebrating those things or embracing those things or rob yourself of the pride and knowing that you've gone you've gone this far and that, you know what I mean? You have longer to go, but you have made progress. Don't rob yourself of that because you're sitting back worried about what they're doing or you see how, what they have going on and you feeling like, oh, I wish I could be doing this and that or I should be doing that or whatever. Their walk isn't your walk. And when your time comes, you're going to see why. It had to it had to happen this way. You're gonna see why it had to take this long. Because when the door opens up, it's gonna be your door. You know what I mean? It had it was no other way this could have worked out, you know? It had to happen like this. Now I see why it, it shouldn't have happened any sooner than this. Now I see why it, it could have never been anybody else. Now I see why. You know what I mean? I had to take all of these steps or I had to go this route or take all these detours or push it back X amount of months or years. You know what I mean? You'll see. You'll see why I had to go that way. And you'll be so glad that you kept going. You'll be so glad that you kept doing your part, that you kept showing up. Because if you're doing your part, God will do his part. Please, 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 just hang in there. I'm closer than you think. You made more progress than you think. You're better at it than you think.
even when you think you're not getting the support you should be getting or the accolades that you should be getting or you know what I mean? Somebody's watching. Somebody's paying attention. And even if they're not speaking on it, they're inspired by you. You know what I mean? There are people who are watching you who is paying attention to you. And they're depending on you. You know what I mean? They might not say too much, but they're definitely paying attention to you and what you do. They're inspired by you. You know? They're watching. They might not say too much, but they're watching. You'd be surprised how many people, you know what I mean, are impressed by little old you. You just being yourself. You just out here doing what you can do, giving it your best, and you feel like it's not enough. And the next person's looking at you like, wow, you know? There's people that's depending on you. There's a, a group of people that you have to reach. There's a group of people that's watching what you do and they're, they're going to use your story to inspire them to walk in, walk into what they're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Keep going. You got it. You got this. Because, I mean, if you really think about it, it could be worse, right? It definitely could be worse, right? I mean, it's bad, but I'm sure, pretty sure you know somebody that's worse off than you. I'm pretty sure you know somebody who has it worse than you do. or You know what I mean? You sitting back complaining about where you are. and There's people who wish they had what you have going on, you know? going you got this you got this it's gonna be so worth it it's gonna be so worth it in the end and you'll be so glad that you that you stayed in the race and that you kept going so i hope that you guys are encouraged i hope you guys um continue to pray for yourselves and pray for this country and pray for the world pray, pray for your strong friends Pray for your sensitive friends. Pray for your family. Pray for those that, you know what I mean, seem to have it together all the time. Like, we're trying to finish 2020 as strong as we can. And we can do this. We can do it. We got this. We're, gonna, we're going to finish out strong. And we're going to be okay. Okay? So, y'all be blessed. Stay in prayer. Be encouraged. Remember to keep going. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all so much for always being so supportive and giving me your feedback. I really appreciate it. Um, peace out.